So when we came and visited Muscatatuck, we were overwhelmed. I mean, this is a national treasure with all kinds of great infrastructures and facilities, but it didn't have any cyber missions. So they brought my team in here to help build out and define the first cyber missions that they run here at Muscatatuck. This is what we would call a red team event. In, in the red team event, uh, there is a defensive force that is looking to identify, characterize, and learn about the tools, techniques, and practices of the TTPs of attackers. And in this particular exercise, we're embodying uh, a nation state attacker, trying to replicate what real people would see in defending their organization's networks. The, the first scenario we built uh, is reconnaissance plus the prison facility. So the idea there is adversaries that are modeling an actual advanced persistent threat, so the actual APT being modeled here, has hacked into a small town and has laterally moved into the prison facilities where they're agitating. They're getting into the camera system. Um, all of the doors and in fact uh, the gates on the cells are controlled via SCADA systems and the adversaries have not only hacked in there, they're starting to open up the gates. The red team is trying to uh, maintain their access and then at near the end of the event unlock all the prison doors to let the prisoners out of the system to try to conduct the exercise. Blue is trying their best to prevent that from happening. We've defined a couple of additional missions. We've got a mission on the water treatment plant where the bad guys hack in and try to contaminate the water. We've also defined a mission associated with the subway terminal where the attackers have hacked into that environment, they're changing the signage uh, as part of a psychological operation, as well as they've hacked into the ventilation system and they're injecting some sort of gas into the subway environment. There's all sorts of different opportunities for us to be able to integrate these kinds of physical attacks where bad guys are trying to get kinetic access to real world controls from a cyber angle. So this time we're focusing primarily on the jail, but there's a lot of other opportunities here for us to be able to continue developing new exercises with new kinetic impact. I love visiting Scatatuck because it shows the art of the possible. There are so many different kinds of infrastructures here, and, and there's such opportunity for building out those infrastructures for cyber missions. And these are the exact kinds of infrastructures that you'll see um, where our military has to engage, both domestically and overseas. We need people who are very capable of operating from a cyber perspective in environments just like this. So it is an ideal training platform.